News Talk 820 WBAP now on FM at 93.3. Make it a preset, y'all. 800-288-WBAP is our number. 800-288-9227. Chris Crock Show. Uh, well, uh, the NCAA has officially agreed to a $2.8 billion settlement to pay athletes. And this is going to be at the Big Ten, Big 12, ACC, SEC, even a, funny enough, a student over at one of our major universities here in North Texas actually was part of the suit. And that's very interesting. A current TCU uh, basketball player, I'll get into details on that a little bit later, but um, we're going to be paying athletes I know the endorsement deals already went through, and I'm not a big sports guy. I never tr- pretend to be, so I m- even poke fun at myself. But I played football for two, three years in seventh, eighth grade, uh, in freshman year a little bit, but I was horrible. But I tried, and I enjoyed it. And then I played, uh, I was in gymnastics, I was in baseball for eight years, so, you know, uh, enough of sporting events to, uh, to have a taste. And regardless, though, I think this is such a big mistake. I think it's a huge mistake. You know what one of my friends said who's a freak on sports who, when he was a single guy before he got married, he had his uh, amazing, you know, I'd call it a pimp palace. His basement was filled in the Midwest with his basements. His basement, he had a wall of TVs. And whenever the uh, NFL games or the NCAA game, you know, all that stuff. And the guys would come over. And I could care less about sports, but I love my friends so much. So I just like being around them. And I'd ask questions and everything, but it was just being around my friends is all I cared about. And my friend who is a sports freak guy, he said, this is years ago, and he said college sports is the purest form of sport. And he said that the NFL was corrupted and the NBA is corrupted, comparatively speaking. And he said college sports is pure. And I think the reason why he said that and the reason why he believed that in earnest is because they weren't getting paid. They were doing it because they love it. They would get scholarships. Eventually, they could get drafted. But the corruption comes where the money comes in is basically what I believe my friend was getting at. And now they're doing this. And I think it's a terrible mistake. And why are we only paying? Why are we only paying the athletes? Why aren't we paying the band? Right? The band. They're playing at the games, aren't they, the band? Shouldn't they get paid? Producer Garrett, shouldn't they get paid? I mean, if they're going to pay the players, why wouldn't they pay the band? I can't hear you. Hold on. Try it again. There you go. The argument for... Okay, the argument for the players is that generating the most revenue for players in college. If you want to go do revenue, go pro. That's what I say. And if you're not good enough to go pro, shut up and prove yourself without getting paid. I think it is wrong. And the band, it it makes it more exciting. And all the people, the guys and the gals that are cheerleaders, that, you know, why aren't they getting paid? They're part of the revenue machine, aren't they? They're part of the glory of it. They're making it the experience it is. They're obligatory. Wouldn't you? Could you imagine if uh, the uh, if Bevo wasn't t- brought out there by the booster team, whatever it is, are they the cheerleaders that bring out Bevo, right? And then can you imagine if the band, whether you be at UT or A&M or SMU or TCU, could you imagine not having a band and not having cheerleaders? They're part of it, too. Why don't they get money? I don't care what, how about the jazz band or the glee club or whatever? Why don't we pay them? And by the way, if we're going to pay college, why don't we pay high school? And if we're going to pay high school, why don't we pay little league? I mean, let's do it right. If these kids are going to hurt themselves and put themselves out there, they need to be paid. Stick out your hand, especially in Joe Biden's America. They're finally able to receive these, this article today from the AP. They're finally going to be able to receive a fair share of the billions of dollars of revenue. You know what that is? You know what I wrote on my little notes? I'm showing you on the Chris Crock Show Facebook page, at Chris Crock Show. That's at Chris Crock Show. You owe me. So uh, the, the state, the sentence saying they're finally able to re- receive a fair share of the billions of dollars of revenue. You owe me. I think it's bad. I think it's corrupting it, and I am a hard pass on this. What do you think? Do you think college students should be paid for their participation in sport? 
And where does this end? Should the band students be paid? How about the Little League? Why is that any different? 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. And by the way, if they're going to pay the male football players and the male basketball players, who the heck goes to the female basketball games unless it's a D1 school that's actually hot? You know what I'm saying? Nobody watches the WNBA. It's a disgrace, except for that uh, incredible player, whatever her name is. I can't remember her now. But what's that? Yes, Caitlin Clark. Um, and she she's there because she lights it on fire, not because, as my daughter would say, it's fire. She's fire. It's, I think she says it mockingly because she's not one of those. She's like an iconoclast, kind of like I am half the time. Um, but I, I, I just I think it's lame. So what, do you think college students should be paid for their participation in sport? And where does this end? Should, should the band students be paid? How about Little League? And why is that any different? And don't you think this corrupts? College sports, 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. That's 800-288-WBAP. I am just strongly against it. I really am. And again, I I never played college sports. My brother did. He was in swimming in college. His uh, uh, first wife was a swimmer, too, and played and got a full ride and stuff like that. Yeah, so swimmers aren't going to get as much. Female softball players are going to get squat compared to male baseball players. Male baseball players, unless the female softball team is super hot, there's there's probably five or ten teams in the country, if you're lucky, that people will show up to in Moss for a female softball game other than the families. Not trying to be mean, just trying to be truthful. Same thing with the basketball game. What do you got, like five or six teams that are pretty hot uh, that, that might have a because they're really good. Other than that, no, hard pass. WNBA, hard pass. So I just think it's, I think it's lame. I think you should go to, here's what I think. I think you should play sports in college because you want to and for some scholarship money. And I think you're there to learn and that's supposed to be the only reason, let's talk about this too. The only reason you're supposed to be at that college is to learn. Athletics is great too. But this just says now it's a business. So I thought it was a university. Uh, Johnny and Burleson, you're on 820 AM and now 93.3 FM WBAP. Hey, Johnny. Uh, Yes, sir. Say, um, didn't we already pay them by forgiving the loans? Yes, well, uh, Joe Biden's going to keep doing that if he has four more years in office. He's going to he's going to let them finish. He can't pay the loans off until they're done, but he can't wait to pay their loans off. Right, but uh, you know that ain't right. I'm with you. They shouldn't get paid. It should be for the love of the game and learning experience at college. And listen, I am all for scholarships. I, I don't have any problem with that. You're rewarded yeah. for your hard work. Same thing with um, academic scholarships. My son's gotten at least half of his college paid for in them, and I think that's fantastic. It's rewarding his hard, hard work, you know? So um, you work hard, you can get some scholarship money. But, man, this is, I think it's really going to ruin it. I really do. I'm going to ruin it, and corrupt the uh, college sports. That's what it's going to do. Because first thing you know, every kid that plays something, well, look here, I got a brand new Porsche. That's exactly right. They're going to be and, driving uh, around a Porsche like they're a pro athlete. Man, this yeah. is this is really bad. I, I think this is really bad. I think it's going to corrupt it so much. Um, it will, and it'll go downhill. And then them kids are going to try to go to the college that wants to pay them. I was about to tell you that. I'm, I was about to add that to my my uh, discussion with you that the the colleges that will pay the highest will get the best yeah. athletes. It'll be who can we pay now. It's going to corrupt yeah. everything, everything. Yeah. I do strongly it's, believe. Yeah, it's like the Yankees. If you got deep yeah. enough pockets, you right. can win. Yep, you can buy it pretty but, much. Um, no, Johnny, I, I got a roll, but I appreciate your great call. Alan and Cleburne. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. I think he disagrees with me, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. No? Kind of. That's fine. It, it's good. I want to hear people disagree with me, too. Um, do you think college students should be paid for their participation in a sport now that the NCAA agreed to two and a half, like $2.8 billion uh, to pay past students all the way from 2016 till now and uh, current students? I think it's going to totally corrupt college sports. Uh, 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. I also, coming up next, what about Title IX? How will this affect Title IX? 
Hmm. All that next on the Chris Crock Show. Uh, we got four lines open for you at 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227 on News Talk 820 WBAP, and now on FM 93.3. News Talk 820 WBAP now on FM at 93.3. Make it a preset, y'all. 800-288-WBAP is our number. 800-288-9227. Well, um, the, the questions also are there about whether the new compensation model with the NCAA saying they're going to start paying student-athletes. What about Title IX? Uh, it's still subject to it, are the questions, is it? It's unknown. Well, we do know the women's sports are going to get the shaft predominantly because there's just not as revenue increasing or driving or generating. So that's going to be your next thing. We demand more like Megan Rapinoe, who couldn't even her team couldn't even beat a 15 year old male soccer team. Remember that? That was the best. They smoked her and her teammates like a cheap cigar. And then she says, I think men should play in my soccer stuff now that I'm retired and I'm a millionaire. It's so easy because it's not me in the field. I stand for transgender rights. Not to get up on a tangent. Um, do you think college students should be paid for their participation in a sport? And where does this end? Shouldn't the band students be paid uh, f- you know, for uh, helping the games and such? Um, okay, see, my friend, here's what's cool. I just texted my friend uh, that told me years ago. That, that's what's so cool. Okay, this is one of my best friends, period. I stood up in his wedding. He stood up in my wedding. He's Jewish. I held the chuppah up for him uh, years ago. And I just texted him, doesn't this totally, because he told me that it corrupts college, excuse me, he told me college sports was the purest sport because it's not like the NFL, NHL, it's not pay and, and all this corruption. And all. Uh, he says it's a game changer. He responded to me tonight. College sports teams now need to get a GM to manage the NIL money like the NFL team. Recruiting freshmen no longer makes sense in many sports. See who's good and then buy them as transfers. That's right. Absolutely. Uh, it's corruption. I agree. There you go. It's corrupt. Now it's uh, another NFL league. This is stupid. It's ridiculous. I'm very, very against it. I really think they're going to r- ruin college sports. They've ruined it now. I believe. Uh, let's go to Alan. we got three lines open. 800 800- 288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Alan and Cleburne, you're on 820 AM and now 93.3 FM WBAP. Hey, Chris. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you. And and I enjoy your subject tonight. Thank you. Uh, yes, I'm going to throw a wrench in the whole party here for everybody. And uh, if you just do a real simple Google, does any other country in the world provide sports with their college education? Absolutely no. We're the only country that pays for this. And if you'd also look into it one further. Let me, let me make sure I got, I got you right. No other countries pay their sport, their athletes to be on the sports uh, sports teams, no, right? You're saying? No, they don't even provide sports with their college education. Oh, I didn't know that. So wait, you're saying all these uh, major universities in England and everything? Uh, okay, actually, yes. stand by. I'm going to put you on hold down. Don't lose that thought. And Caroline and Denton, you stay right there. Let's go right back to Alan and Cleburne and then Carolina and Denton. We're talking about whether or not we should be paying those students to be in the NCAA sports. I think it's so bad and so wrong there. You've agreed to it tonight. All right, Alan and Cleburne, go ahead and finish off, though. Yeah, what I was bringing up and mentioning is that other countries in the world do not even provide sports in their college education. It's all done through what we call sports club. If you want to play soccer, you join a soccer club. Uh, my grandsons are in the high school, and they have a football club, a baseball club. They don't play it through the high school. Uh, you want your little girl to play tap dancing, and she goes to a tap dancing class. None of it is provided through the educational system. Now, that also refers to high school. High schools around the world don't provide these sports either. It's all done. You're just talking about out of the U.S., obviously, yeah. That's correct. Correct. That's done through sports clubs, just like, um, so we don't need a 60 or a $40 million football stadium in high school. Yeah, I agree with that. In other words, uh, you're saying we, we would like to see us take sports out of all of education. Take it out and have okay. education only. And if you want to play sports, you go to a sports club. Yeah, we might have to do that. Appreciate your call. Carolina and Denton, you're on. Oh, oh no, we got to pause real fast, don't we? Yeah, okay. So Carolina, can you? We're up against a hard break. Carolina, I'll take you right out of the, right out of the box coming up next. Can you stand by? I apologize. 
Yes. Okay. The severe weather interrupted my awesome show. Stand by. We'll continue uh, with the coverage of this. Do you want NFL, excuse me, do you want NCAA athletes to get paid? Well, they're already going to do it. Don't you think this is going to corrupt college sports? I do. 800-288-WBAP is our number. 800-288-9227. News Talk 820 WBAP now on FM at 93.3. Make it a preset. Absolutely um, agree that this whole uh, paying of the college athletes is totally off base. No, no, no. Okay. Um, By all means, chime in at that uh, on whether or not you want to pay the college athletes. At 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Um, you know what's funny? He, uh, none other than Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh, who I don't know. Uh, there's probably going to be some things, some decisions I haven't liked that he's done. But I think overall, I can't recall any. So that w- I guess that would mean I'm technically a fan. I don't know. But he strongly disagrees with me. He is a former Yale athlete, and the um, Justice Kavanaugh said the bottom line is that the NCAA and its member colleges are suppressing the pay of student athletes who collectively generate billions of dollars in revenues for colleges every year. Well, it's not about pay; it's about education and uh, you know getting some scholarship money if you do well this corrupts it and I'm going to repeat what my very good friend who's a sports freak by the way um, he mocked me when I was starting when I was starting out I was in uh, at a pea shooter station in suburban Chicago you know and it didn't show up in the ratings one of those little tiny ones you know but it was still a commercial radio station that's where I got my chops on the air and um, well, he said, by the way, so I said I, I was quoting him earlier on my show saying that he he said that the NCAA is the purest. I'm sorry. College sports is the purest form of sport. And now that they're paying it, he I knew he would disagree. He says it's a game changer. College sports teams now need to get a GM to manage the NIL money like an NFL team. Recruiting freshmen no longer makes sense in many sports. See who's good, then buy them as transfers. This this bastardizes everything. It changes everything. And uh, and then he put also, he says, I'm still laughing at you talking sports. I remember me and one of our other friends joining your show uh, to talk football. Yeah, they carry the show for me because I didn't know what the, I had to fill up for a sports talk show. I had no idea what I was doing. So they came on with me. It was just, you know, my little pea shooter, uh, you know, station. I was there to get some good tape, get some experience, and then move on, which I did. Uh, let's go to Carolina. And then my question is, do you think college students should be paid for their participation in a sport? And where does this end? Should the band students be paid? How about Little League? Why is that any different? Uh, 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. To localize it further, TCU student current is one of the people on the on this uh this uh, lawsuit action going on about getting paid. Uh, yeah. Uh, Carolina and Denton, you're on 820 AM and now 93.3 FM WBAP. Yes. Hi. I'm a long-term, um, long-time listener. Love your show and a first-time caller. Oh, well, hold on a second. Offer- if it's your first-time call, I have something here. Hold on. <laughs> Welcome to the program. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. So, just wanted to offer a, a different perspective on what you know the the conversation is. Yeah. So, my son played sports in high school, and he and he was also in the high school band. All of that is a wonderful place to you know be able to learn uh, personal, um, hardworking, teamworking, all of those things. However, in college, uh, as a freshman in the UNT band. I, I witnessed how they put in those grueling yes. three week summer, all of that. Okay, and the these kids players, pass uh, out on the on they, 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 these yes. band kids literally collapse in high school and yes. in college. They collapse. Exactly. So they're actually going through hard work in the heat, grueling training, grueling. Workout. Where's their pay? Exactly. So the, a lot of these public um, universities and even private universities. So yeah, sure they can get scholarships. And that helps pay their tuition and everything. But guess what? They don't have time for a part-time job because this takes so much. And a lot of these kids, um, I don't know about getting them a Porsche, but hey, this could be some money to assist in that other side. I strongly disagree. What it takes to go. I strongly to go disagree. To Let me tell you why I strongly disagree. Respectfully and very strongly disagree. My son uh, is a straight A student. 
Although he says he might get his first two Bs ever because Japan, the, the classes are insanely hard. Uh, he's taken an English syntax course. Somebody cried in the middle of the class the other day. It was so hard. He, <laughs> but he, he literally went to YouTube to help him figure this out. He said it's amazing. Anyways, it's just really hard there. But other than that, he's gotten straight A's for 99.9% .9 of everything he's done for years. Okay. And he gets scholarships and stuff. So he gets the scholarships. He earns the grades. But he also works uh, as a barista about 20 to 25 hours a week. And um, so he can do it. And now look, your son doesn't have to do five classes. They can do four. That's still full time. Like my son, she, my son chose chose to do that, and he's going to pay more. He's going to be in school probably for an extra semester, but it's going to give him sanity. He says so. That's his choice. But um, you know, um, I think it's an extracurricular thing. And it's a choice. Uh, are you saying that maybe the band students should get paid too? Absolutely. I think they should get, I, that's my point. Okay. They should get paid along with the, the basketball players, with the football players, because it, as a, you know, from what I've seen as a parent, it's so Grueling. much work. And yes, yes. You're, you're right. It is an extracurricular. It is a choice. But it's like going to be a barista. You chose to do that. Where here you're choosing because with the intent possibly to go into the NFL, to go to not everybody's going to be maybe, you know, less than 1%. I don't know what the percentage is, right. but that's their, their, I think their ultimate goal, right? And that's where they're going to get. But why not get a share of that revenue from that university? They get it. They, they're, they're getting so much. Why, are outrageous prices, why don't they just you know, go? The regalia, why everything. don't Why don't they just go to the NFL then or NBA if they're that good? I think they, they need that stepping. Well, down, and that's like, why they should know. not get paid for it. That's my strong opinion. I interned for free at multiple places, and and uh, I got experience. I interned at uh, three broadcast outlets, one in New York City at Dayline NBC, and then two and one at WABC Talk Radio 2 in New York City in 1995. And then I interned at a television station, a local one, an NBC affiliate, actually, in a nearby market. I drove an hour and a half, never got paid a dime. Um, the two internships in New York City never got paid a dime. And then I, I did an intern on a morning show uh, at a small FM commercial station, uh, you know, in the college town I was in. They had commercial stations, about three or four or five of them. I was at one of them doing a morning show as a sidekick. And I, got on, I was on pay, but I got experience. So I wasn't paid for any of that. Yeah, and I hear that side of it. But here we've got big time universities, you know, TCU, all these big universities. Well, Dateline's and pretty big time. You know, they're still on the air because they make millions and millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> so that's big time. WABC Talk Radio. Um, there's, there's st everything's still local. I think other than Sean Hannity, who's from his house, but he, or no, I think he does it from their studios there. The point being is, um, yeah. they're all local there, so that means they got money to pay have people twenty four seven doing a, a radio show. They got an overnight guy that's that's local. So the point yeah. being is, they're making good money in New York and media. And on Dateline NBC and NBC News Network, they're making tons of money. Their anchors make millions, obviously. So they could have paid me, but they didn't. I got experience. I got a resume, right. you know. And I love this show, and so I completely agree with you, and I see your perspective. I Again, I'm provi providing the perspective first. Hand yes, no, it's good. To, a kid we're that good. works so hard and that, you know, all of these kids, they choose what they love to do, and it, they choose it as a, as an actual job. I see my kid going to work for three weeks to your to, your you know, point. Perform, your right? point and is, if it. they're going to pay the the athletes, they got to pay your son. Oh, they shouldn't exactly. do, or, or you would agree with me, they shouldn't do any of it. I'm okay with them getting paid. Well, now you got now you got the highest bidder. So any team that's good, I mean UNT, we have to be honest. Uh, the, I call, I jokingly call them the Screaming Eagles, uh, <laughs> and I say their call, uh, their call is. Ah! Ah! Uh, we have we like I this. this perfected it because I haven't yet. <laughs> this whole place, this whole place is filled with UNT people. It's crawling with them. They're everywhere. Uh, they're like cockroaches. They're everywhere. The Screaming Eagles. <laughs> okay, but uh, but I just okay. I appreciate your call. You are awesome. Thanks for making us laugh thank tonight. You. Thank for laughing All my right. my tacky know. humor. All right, thank you. We love you too. Um, do you want to take Terry coming up next? Okay, Terry and Hazel, do not go anywhere. Uh, we I want to take your calls tonight. Uh, we're having fun too. Um, I just really am against paying college athletes to to uh, be in sports and now it's not the best team and recruiting people it's the best 
payrolls. It bastardizes everything. You want a second NFL? That Now you got it. I think it's a disgrace. We'll talk more about that and see what you think. 800-288. We have two lines open. 800-288-WBAP is our number. 800-288-9227. Chris Crock Show on News Talk 820 WBAP. And now on FM at 93.3. News Talk 820 WBAP now on FM at 93.3. Make it a preset, y'all. 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. Do you think college students should be paid for their participation in a sport? And where does this end? Should the band students be paid? How about Little League? Why is that any different? And this is going to bastardize all of college sports. Absolutely going to. It's uh, really a sad, I think it's a sad day. Um I really do. All right, 800-288-WBAP is our number. Let's go to boo, 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 uh, Terry and Hazel. You're on 820 AM and now 90, on FM 93.3. Hello on WBAP. Hey, Terry. Hey, thanks for checking my call. You're welcome. Are you an Hazel or Hazel? Hazel, what a I name. Thought, yeah, I thought so. It says Hazel. I don't know if there's a Hazel. It probably is a Hazel, Texas. I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to uh, dock his pay for, for mis, mis uh, writing that, okay? No. No, no, no reason. It's okay. I'll be from wherever he needs me to be. Oh, he's he happy now. He, he, he made him happy. Ah, oh, I like to take mm. his money away. Okay, go ahead, sir. Ma'am. So, I think that if, if these students think they should be paid for participating in college sports, then we should take away all their scholarships and all the benefits they're being offered to go play sports and let them pay their way through college as well. Yes. Absolutely. Although I'm sure they'll be happy to trade off for it because if they can get a Porsche and get a couple hundred thousand dollars, they'll be like, sure, what do I care? I'll I'll spend uh, 20% of that for college and and make 80% of that bank. Oh, well, if the hey. colleges can afford that, then why aren't they just funding their own student loans? Exactly right. Yes, that's exactly right. Very good point. Like Harvard has an endowment of one billion, they, and they still get our money to to exactly. teach kids to hate you, to teach kids to hate Jews and love terrorists. Um, yes. Yeah. But yeah, they, they're they're already getting incentives to go there, and all, there's a lot of other students who do not play sports who will focus on academics, who probably want to be there more for a different priority. Education. Let's, let's talk about something else. Are we going to have more incidences of? Uh, NFL players, or excuse me, of college football players now, or college basketball player, players going 100 and you know 36 miles per hour on on Interstate 35, 75, for example, um, crashing into people's cars because they're renting a Lamborghini, like uh, the allegations of uh, Rushy Rice. Are we going to have people punching people at, at a bar in the middle of the night and then having lawyers uh, get get them out of it? Are we going to have people? caught with drugs or prostitutes or allegations of rape. It's going to be just like professional sports now. Everything's going to change. Well, everything's going to change, and, and let's point out that now they are employees of the colleges and not students, oh, that, therefore the colleges can be liable. That's the problem, because uh, that still is, they don't even know yet if that's, if that's going to happen. That literally is one of the questions the AP brings up. We don't know. They don't know. Isn't that great? What a joke. Well, if you're an employee, you're, your yeah. employer this, is responsible for you. This changes everything. Great call tonight. Thank you, Terry. All right, we have, uh, coming up next, we got... Okay, uh, Joel in Cedar Hill, you're on 820 AM and now 93.3 FM WBAP. So I'm definitely a long-time listener, but not a first-time caller. I don't know if you have a sound effect for that. I do. I have this. Here we go. I got this. Ready? It's just, um, you get a little, here, here, you get this. Hold on. You know what that means? I don't know what that is, but it's you know what? It's crickets. I, I'm it's aware crickets. Of it. Well, I thought it was it's crickets. crickets. It I'm means impress me. It means impress me, sir. Okay, so I definitely agree with Hazel from Hazel, uh, which I know that's not her name, but anyways, uh, and she she pretty much said exactly what I wanted to say, uh, but however... Dude, you're um, pretty funny. Go ahead, sir. um, If they they want to split uh, uh, and and, uh, where the athletes don't get any uh, any academic scholarships or you know or, or any kind of scholarships I'm totally on board with that but if that's the case we need to split the athletic side off from any academic side of the university and make it basically its own company I think you're right that's great yes uh, because because I, I have a degree in church music Chris mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and there were there were all these students not just the dumb football players but every and everybody else, who came, they would play for the fall, 
not do any classes and leave for the spring because they had nothing to do in the spring. Then they'd come back in the summer and they'd play in the fall. And they'd get full ride scholarships when here I was, the church music student, and I was taking music theory and, and didn't have any scholarships coming in. It was it was very aggravating, Chris. I, I like how you're saying, though, it should be totally separated and made its own business. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then it, then, it, then it is exactly what I believe and I've been saying tonight and what you seem to believe, too, is that it's it's another NFL and another NBA. Absolutely. It's, man, I tell you what, watch the NBA and NFL. If they're smart, they're going to go against this and they're going to shut people out and say, if you play, oh, watch this. Man, I'm going to tell you, if I was NBA or NFL, I would say you cannot play for us for five years if you play college. Or something weird. I don't know what. But it's going to be hard for them. They're still going to need the best players, and they're going to find them through college. But isn't that going to be weird? Interesting. I, and, you know, I have no problem with that. And I'll, I'll throw this in real quick. Um, I, I have no problems with athletes who want to come and get a college degree at the same time. And if they want to get some academic scholarships yes. to go be teachers, right. to go do whatever. I, I used to work at a university in the campus safety department. So I had to deal with all, with all, the, the, all the problem students. Uh, but but I knew I knew several who were basketball players, even some dumb football players who who went on to be school teachers or, or do things of, of an academic capacity instead of just grabbing a football and getting uh, head injuries. Joel, great call tonight, and I appreciate you very much, brother. Okay, I appreciate it, Chris. All right, take care. All right, let's go to Carl and Burleson. You're on eight twenty AM and now ninety three three FM WBAP. Hey, Carl. Hi, Chris. Hi. Yeah, I'm not sure that I can add a whole lot more than what the previous two callers said, but uh, I am not in favor of uh, the, the college athletes being paid in right. any way. Right. Um, and again, you know, my basic question was, you know, if, if they are going to be making money, they should be, shouldn't they be ineligible for scholarships? They need to pick one yes. or the other. But my, my argument back on that is, well, they're going to just say, well, that's fine. I'll just pay 20% of my, I'll take 20% of my pay and pay it to the scholarship and then I'll keep 80% so I can have a Porsche. You're going to, you know what else you're going to have, Carl? You're going to have the same thing where people blow all their money and become right. destitute and they burn out with, uh, with stupid decisions, driving drunk, getting, you know, killing somebody like uh, Josh Brent did. Just like uh, on the professional level. Yep. And you're going to see drugs, prostitution, beating, um, murder, all this. Everything's going to go on, all the corruption. And it's going to be, they're going to burn out. They're going to be done before they even go to NFL or something like that. I think for a lot of them, this is going to be a totally disaster. Agree. All right. I appreciate your great call tonight. Jeremy in Fort Worth, Mike and Keller, you guys coming up next. Stay right there. Uh, plus your call. We have three lines open at 800 288 WBAP. 800-288-9227. Do you think college sports should be paid? I should say college students should be paid for their participation in a sport. And where does this end? Should the band students be paid? How about Little League? Why is that any different? Also, how does this affect Title IX? I will get into that with you coming up next on the Chris Croc Show on News Truck 820 WBAP and now on FM at 93.3.